Hello, everyone, and welcome to New Pantheon Academia, the anime-inspired role-playing game show here on Saving Throw Show. I'm your host, Stephen Pope, and yes, my head does exist beyond my eyebrows. Decided to go hatless because I am, after all, a chaperone. Can you even read that? There you go. <laughs> we have a wonderful game tonight, powered by Overarms, available now at rookiejet.com and on drive through RP. Go check that out. But before we get into the rigmarole, let's meet our beautiful table, starting with someone who has more control of roses than anyone else, Critical Bard. I've been watching some Yu Yu Hakusho. show. You get the roses, guys. I was like, wait, wait, that's Karama. Is his name Karama? Yeah, yeah that's Daddy. I um, so. Hi. Uh, I, I had such a crush on him. as was good. Because he has like the red hand, the rose whip. And shit. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, no, I, yeah, yeah. I had I such a it. crush on him. Uh, anywho, I actually wanted to be him more than I had a crush on him. Anywho, hi. That's very valid. Um, um, my name is Omega Jones, also known as the Critical Bard. Critical Bard across all social media channels. Very happy to be here for this season's finale episode of New Pantheon Academia. And today I am playing Kwame Akinyemi, whose divinity is Anansi, the West African trickster god of all stories. Love it. Next up, she has to choose between her childhood best friend and the mysterious stranger with a motorcycle. It's Mika. I'm always going to choose the mysterious stranger in the motorcycle. So sorry, childhood best friend. Hi. <laughs> I'm Mika. I play the wonderful Dahlia Wingrove right here. Um, our adorable theater kid who's trying to be a little bit more than she was yesterday. Um, she has the powers of Persephone, who is the goddess of both springtime and also the underworld. So, hmm. I guess we'll do outfit checks when we get to prom. Oh, absolutely. That's happening today. <laughs> okay, cool. Next up, you lost the duel against them as soon as you started playing. It's Aki. Hi, everybody. Thanks for uh, being here while I scarf down the rest of my food for the day. I'm Aki. I'm playing Emancipation Brown, your resident seeker of truth, justice, and harmony, as divined unto them by the goddess Ma'at, uh, an Egyptian goddess uh, who's rad. You know, in general. Yeah. Fair enough. And finally, their quirk will destroy the world or save it. We're not sure. It's Eric. Hello, everybody. Uh, I'm Eric, and I'm playing Lennox Thatcher, who is the 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 big the, the former football captain himbo, who is as the powers of Ninkasi, the Sumerian goddess of beer, living him with inside of him. We love to see it. Now, uh, first of all, thank you all for joining us here today for our season finale. I can't believe it. It's, ah, it's prom. It's a big one. We've been building up towards this. It's going to be wild. And let's go ahead and give some love over to our friends at Die Hard Dice. Uh, you can save 10% off your order using Natural 20 at checkout. And you can go ahead and buy Critical Bard's dice there. Yeah, I wasn't ready. Guy. I wasn't oh, ready. No. Oh, you're not ready. I wasn't There's ready. ready. If you buy a set, I'm you don't have to wait for him to show it off. So. Yeah. <laughs> it's very pretty. <laughs> and you can double dip helping friends. Uh, you get 10% off your order. It's great. Use uh, checker code natural20 and go ahead. If you are here with us live, put exclamation point DH dice in the chat. You can check it out right now. However, if you're listening to us as YouTube or a podcast, thank you so much. Do us a solid. Leave us a like, comment, subscribe, the whole nine yards. It helps the show. It helps the channel. It helps everyone. We love it, and we love you. And if you really love us, make you laugh, make you cry, give you feels, uh, let you laugh at my inability to pronounce anything properly. I'm like Rich Evans. Uh, you can join the Exploration Society. We're trying to get $3,000 by the end of May. It's a crucial step in saving throw show, keeping things on the air, growing the channel, doing some amazing things. And your support not only keeps happening, it also gets you some swag, merch discounts, one-page adventures written by cast and crew alike. So check it out today. It really does mean a lot, and $1 goes way further than you think. And lastly... We are, oh, I didn't know this. We're, giving, we're doing a giveaway tonight. You can win a copy of Cortex Prime and a uh, figuring of adorable power 
Nope, nope, nope. My producer. My producer has just informed me, thank you, Dom, that we will not be doing a uh, figuring of adorable power. Uh, sorry about that. I hacked in and I put that there as a prank. Yeah. Yeah. Sick. Sick prank. I don't need this. I don't need this. I'm being bullied. I was just going to see how much Stephen would read without reading it yeah. in his head first. Uh, it also says that, Stephen, <laughs> if we reach our, our highest tier, we're going to... We're gonna give away your whole butt. We'll just ship them your butt. And take all your hats. How oh, my hats? I am not wearing one tonight like... though, because I'm a chaperone. The chaperones don't wear hats. Yeah, because we're giving them all away. No yep. bother. It's like taking away taking away Samson's power by cutting his hair. <laughs> I don't have hair. Well, that's but... that's what your that's 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 what your hats are. That, that... Mm -hmm. That is fair. That mm -hmm. is fair. But you can also support us live if you do, uh, if you can't or just are unable to do Patreon. That's completely fine. It's totally cool. You can still support us through your tips. And your tips help unlock some amazing things. Uh, for example, thanks to the chat, we've already unlocked five rerolls for the table. And I assure yes! you, y'all are going to need them. Oh, I don't like when you say that. You should. Yes. Please. I feel like as a finale, we also need a tier. We need um, a, a goal that's a, a hot take of Hold something. Up. Maybe prom, prom related or something. Prom related something about our proms, if we want oh, to prom. uh, I was actually going to do, well, if we do manage to raise $125 this episode, we'll do a video game hot take edition. Uh -huh. Steve, Ooh, Steven, video game hot take edition. I got some for that one. I'm, I'm <laughs> a little bit more interested in our $500 goal, which is a uh, musical episode. <laughs> Yes, that's right. If we raise five hundred dollars tonight, me? we will be doing a musical episode. Chuck. Will it be good? Probably not. I'm not much of a singer. Will it be entertaining? You bet your ass, because we have Aki and Critical Bard and Mika and Eric here, and they oh, they are pretty damn good singers. So, just saying. Chad, I've never asked you for anything before, but I'm begging you to hit that. Goal it is the finale. I think we deserve. <laughs> Uh, because of the shenanigans that we uh, uh, give to you. <laughs> and you I mean, deserve a musical I episode. Have been, I have been wanting to do a musical episode for a very, very long time. And I've never been in a, in a situation where I had the opportunity to do so. So I am also begging you. Is Let's go on may be cast in the off, 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 off Broadway um, a show, um, Spider Man uh, Turn Out the Dark. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, don't, don't, don't do it, Mommy. Don't do it, Mommy. You'll break your arms. Don't go to the light. Um, also, uh, I just remembered the chat earlier this season unlocked a very special mech space. Uh, episode, so You're we could right. literally combine them into a space opera. I think, I think, I think, yes, it's the, the answer oh. to that. Listen, please. <laughs> <laughs> please. All right, special thanks to our chat who has also unlocked the Blood Rage, which is a terrible name because I'm not good at naming things. But you guys now have a full hill to be cashed in. Does that mean if oh, someone that. if someone hits zero health points, we can be like full heal? No, <laughs> they have to still have one hit point left. <laughs> All right. Yes. Can we is... someone to die? Yeah. Well, question: I hope not. If we if we use it like not strategically and as a bit, hmm? will will that <laughs> save us? Like no, you know, but Kwame stubs their toe and then we full heal the party. Is that a full uh, heal for the party? I thought it was for one character. Oh, <gasps> you know what? I didn't define it, so we'll go ahead and say a full heal for the party. Okay. I don't like that you gave that to us though, because that means stuff is coming. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. You shouldn't worry about it, as our story begins on a beautiful spring day in the northern Pacific North in the northern Pacific Northwest in the Pacific Northwest. Uh, the snow has melted. The world is beautiful, lush, and green. Uh, you get random showers on occasion, but they're those beautiful type that just make everything a little more lush and rainbowy. Uh, 
the school is a buzz, especially for the high school portion of North Point Academy, as students see themselves readying for prom. Manny, you are doing the last touches. A few more things. Just have to get the stupid mushroom taped to the wall. Make sure this is over there. Make sure no one has put up pig's blood in a bucket because you know someone saw Carrion and Prushable Age. So How many is people. It going? I mean, so many people. Listen, I feel as long as Ben and Piotr like don't pull each other's hair out, we're doing okay. Like, I spent a lot of time like mediating between the two of them and i don't know how seriously they took my prompt to maybe seek out therapy but in the meantime i'm just gonna do the very best i can uh to to keep them both on track uh and then make them remember that like it's too late it's too late if you have new i it's too late no more new ideas we finalized all of this stuff and locked it a week ago it's too late well, the good news is, Manny, Piotr is in La La Land today. Piotr is too excited about his first American prom with boyfriend. And so you have had the joy of just working with everyone's favorite over-caffeinated gerbil of a man, Ben. And um, without Piotr... I, I do take away his coffee at some point, because there's, there's, there's only so much caffeinated energy that that can be acceptable and safe. Yeah, totally, totally, he says, uh, popping over, open a uh, Red Bull. Yeah, coffee. Nope, no, no, come no, on. no, come on. No, Ugh. you know that stuff is bad for you. I don't need a heart attack on the floor. That would you're be kind of funny. You're only seven, no, you're 17 years old. So, that, that means I can handle it and I'll just deal with this when I'm old, like, 25. Please, please read my lips. Okay, I'm reading your lips. N. Mm -hmm. Ben. N. N. Mm. O. O, okay, got it. Spells. No. No, put the wet Red Bull down. Ugh, Back away slowly. Fine. Drink some water. Have you eaten anything today? Uh, does a Nature Valley granola bar count? Go get food. Uh, fine. I, one sec. Well, wait. Before I get for it, I'll go get food. I promise. Pinky promise. Pinky mm -hmm. promise. I'll go get food. Uh, you got a date tonight? No, why would I? I don't know. Everyone else does. I don't get it either, but I figured we could go together. Um... Okay. You're ace too, right? Yeah, sure. Sure. Okay. Cool. All right. Now go get food. I'll get food. God. All right. Ben toddles no, off. That's, I'm not that, that smart. <clears throat> ben toddles off to go get himself uh, some actual food with maybe some nutritional value. And water. Drink water. I'm getting water. Does Gatorade count? No, but it's good enough. Okay. I have the blue one. I'm going to drink the blue one. Uh. Man Manny, as you continue to be stressed, uh, having more or less been in charge of prom without signing up for that, and also having to protect the crowns, which you still don't know what they do, mm. we move over to... A bit off campus, actually. Uh, Lenny, what's the name of your therapist? Uh, Henrietta Divine. Henrietta sits across from you. Uh, her office is not the fanciest place on earth, but it's warm and it's, it's cozy. It makes you feel safe which is really all you really want from a therapist. So, prom tonight. Yeah, no, yeah. It's like exciting or whatever. Are you going with friends? 
Uh, yeah, I think that's the plan. We're going to like meet up. Good, good. Um, have you been working on what we talked about last time? Um, yeah. Yeah, I've been like trying to say what I want and stuff and like, you know, tell people what I want. But it's like hard, but I, I know I, I've been doing it. Like the other day, uh, we were like at, after class, we were like, like, oh, let's let's get pizza. And I was like, actually, I feel like ramen today. And then we got we got we got ramen. That's good. Even small steps are steps. Don't forget that. Yeah. Henrietta, um, she's an older woman, uh, African-American. Her hair is gray and braids, and she keeps it up. She looks up the clock. Uh, we're just about out of time. Uh, same time next week, Lenny? Yeah, totally. Great. As you leave and enter the waiting room on your way out, you see a familiar white-haired young woman currently tossing a uh, koosh ball in the air and catching it. Huh. Kim. No, yeah. Hey, how's it, how's it going? Oh, shit. I did not expect to see you. Hi. Oh, this is not like... Um, this is like a... Uh, like a safe space or whatever. So I'm not like gonna tell people that I saw you. If, oh, if yeah, you're like, no, totally. yeah, totally. Like, same, same. I mean, I don't, I don't care if people know I'm here, but like, uh, I respect uh, the privacy of others. Cool, cool. Uh, it's actually my uh, first session. You know, I mean, it's. It's surprising that it took you this long, but also like not because like, you know, I imagine <laughs> you've had a you've had a, like a stranger life than most. So I imagine talking about it. Yeah, it's like good. Yeah. Um, between Dahlia and Manny Loki calling me out on the whole, hey, you kind of act like a big jerk to hide the fact that you you know, dealt with what I dealt with. She jumps her eyebrows a few times as if to say, the dead thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, um... Yeah, that's like classic projection. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. Dr. Ash called me on it, too, so... Figure, why not take the steps? Hey, uh... Lennox. It's cool if you it's cool that you're doing this. Oh yeah. It's been like I only I only just started, but it's like it's been like like hecka helpful. That's uh nice to hear. So uh ready to punch a god tonight or whatever? Oh yeah, I guess. Um, I guess I don't really, I try not to, I don't, I don't know. I, I, I think, uh, <laughs> Dr. Divine would say I'm, I compartmentalize that part of my life a little bit, although we don't exactly, you know, talk about that part of, you know, yeah, uh, I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to explain my problems without going to a, yeah, I imagine place. that. That's going to be super tough. But like, if you want to like talk with someone who like can understand at least a little bit of what you're going through, like, I guess I'm, I'm always here. You're dork. She lightly punches you in the arm. <laughs> Ow. All right, get out of here. I got to, I got to go figure out how I'm going to explain my life. Yeah, but also like, um, like I don't know what if you just like told her everything, like how she'd react or whatever. But like you know, it's a safe space. So I don't know. Thanks, Lenny. Yeah, no problem. 
as she goes in and you head out back to the campus, we cut over to a basketball court. Kwame, how is uh, being captain going? It's going well. Um, <clears throat> you know, we're, we're currently uh, doing some training right now, uh, doing some suicides because ha ha ha, underclassmen. Um, even though I'm technically an underclassman. No, no, I'm a junior. Um, but, uh, you know, getting pumped for the, the upcoming, uh, basketball game, uh, you know, uh, after the, after the suicides and all those things, you know, we split off, um, shirts versus, uh, no shirts, <laughs> a little bit of, uh, small little plays, uh, just to get, you know. You get get the uh, get get the muscles moving. Make sure they, right. you know, just you never. Why stop. Go ahead and give me a dexterity roll. Let's see how that's going for you. Don't do this to me. <laughs> we have free rolls. That's a four. <laughs> it's going fine. Hmm. It's going fine. You know. Yeah. yeah. Um. But no, that, that's pretty much what's going on. Um. He's definitely not as focused on the game. Obviously, this is more of a ruse more than anything, but now it's reality, so it's not a ruse. Um, just thinking about what's going to happen soon. This was not a path that he fully expected to happen, but he of all folk understand that stories change um, with, with the gust of a wind, and now this is the story they're telling. So let's see how this story plays out. It's in the locker room when Anansi finally makes himself uh, seen, effectively. You open your locker mm -hmm. and you find him with a newspaper, uh, gym shorts, and uh, two pairs of basketball shoes. Oh, that's we're, valid. We're still doing this. We have to do it until this is done, and then we can go back to the way things were. Okay, uh, question. What would that look like now? Because you're our, uh, what, what was it? Oh, yes, you're captain of a basketball team. But I'm the poetry. Ah, uh, well, um, you know, the academic folk can do athletics as well. It's not one or the other. Um, I still can do poetry on the side, uh, but I uh, on the soon... side. On, on, on. It's a side hustle now. I'm a side hustle. You are not a side hustle. Am I a side spider to you? Anansi, you are not a side piece. You are still you. very um, important to me and mine. Mm -hmm. But until we figure out what's going on, and you, who always say, you didn't ask, well, I'm asking now what the shit is going on. Um, until this gets figured out, this is how things need to be. If I have to rewrite the story a little bit to make sure that I become um, at least one of the prom courts, specifically one with the crown, then I will do that. Well, if that is... I don't disagree. I'm not going to agree, but I don't disagree. I am concerned, though. Who's your date for tonight? You know, sometimes people go to prom without a date and they find um, all they need on the dance floor. You're too shy to ask someone. A what? You're too shy to ask someone. I am not too shy to ask anybody. Why would you assume that I am shy to ask someone? That is not how well, I am. You operate. didn't ask anyone. I'm just saying it's prom and you didn't ask anyone. Maybe I was waiting for someone to ask me. Since when I am are you the passive? charming one. Since when are you passive? What if I want to be passive now? What well, if I want to play the game? And sometimes to play the game, you have to act like you don't know the game exists. Therefore, what if I am playing the game by being passive? What if? Not, that is a story that could be told. That, that is a story, and that's all it is. It is a story. You of all people beings know that a story is never just a story. I don't know what you are talking about. No. 
Hurry up. This, no, 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 no. Like no. Nope, nope, nope. We're going into this. Why haven't you asked anybody? You know you want to celebrate and have fun. Where's I'm your never, date, Anansi? I'm married okay. several times over. Polyamory exists. The rest of the locker room kind of stops when you shout polyamory exists. Many of them stop and look over as you are yelling into your locker. I'm it, talking my phone. Yeah, bro. Yeah. I'm talking to my, my, my phone's in the locker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do that with you. Have fun. Polyamory. Yeah. We're going to talk about this later. I slammed the a locker on him. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> and I finished getting dressed because it was definitely after a shower, so I just have a towel wrapped around me. Well, of course, that's <laughs> the funniest way that could, that yes. could be. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> and finally, we move over to Dahlia. Oh yeah. How are you spending the last couple met last couple hours before prom? Um Persephone, Persephone and I are having a girls day and I asked Persephone to give me a really big makeover because she's queen of the underworld and I need a queen's touch to become prom queen. Ah, this is going to be great. So first of all, we need now, I'm a big fan of pomegranate lipstick that myself. Uh, don't worry, it's not that pomegranate. I'm not going to do that. Uh, next of all, we need to do a little, we'll do some highlight, bring out those beautiful cheekbones you have. She has gone full god eye for the straight woman, I guess. Uh, it is a whole to do. And Morpheus is there with a warm towel and the like a cucumber water. The whole nine yards. It's a spa day for Dolly. I was thinking about for my eyes, we could do something that looks like flowers. Maybe the flower called a Dahlia. Beautiful, beautiful. We absolutely will. We will not be doing that thing with the flowers in the eyelashes, though. I remember that was a thing on Instagram oh. and Morpheus showed me and I'm still having nightmares. No, no, thank you. I, If we get into a fight, I don't want hours to be in my vision. That is uh, true. That is very true. You can tell for a moment she forgot you're probably going to battle tonight. Also, I really appreciate this black dress that you picked out because it's a little edgy. I've never worn black before. And if we, again, get into a fight, you won't really see any stains or like scruffed up stuff if I haven't already been crowned. And that way, all I have to do is touch up my face. It's perfect. Black is always the right choice. <laughs> uh, and there is a knock at your door. Oh, are you expecting? You can't be expecting anyone. That's a question. Hold on. She's going to go open her door. Standing there with a uh, one of those silk flowers is Spiro wearing their they're wearing a suit that's intentionally shabby um hi uh i uh, I, Hello. What are, what are you doing here uh well i was uh getting ready hades has been giving me a uh a spa day and um he reminded me I never formally asked. Oh, me, right. Oh, um, yes. <laughs> you're here to ask me to go to prom with you. Spiro, um, give me, uh, g can you give me just one second? Uh, sure. She's gonna close the door and she's gonna call Manny <laughs> on the phone. <laughs> And Spiro opens up the group text he has between Kwame and Lenny. <laughs> yeah, Dahlia, what's up? Hi, um, Spiro's here to ask me to prom and I don't really know what to do. Well, do you want to go to prom with Spiro? I'm overall, yes, but Manny, we haven't had her date yet. Well, I mean, this, is, this isn't exactly 
Well, I mean, this is a little bit out of my realm of expertise, but the way I see it is this, is like prom is one of those things where like you can go just as friends and like you're going to be surrounded by lots of other friends. And so there's not really any pressure on, on the situation and you guys can just have a good time and it can be casual and, and, and you can kind of get a feel for how, how you like spending time with, with him in like, you know, a situation that could become romantic, um, but doesn't necessarily have to be. So uh, I don't know. It, it's up to you on whether or not you, you think that that is something you want. Yeah. My hands are really sweaty. If you want to go with him, you should just say yes. You're right. A queen would say yes. Meanwhile, Lenny and Kwame, you receive a text in all caps. I fucked up! <laughs> uh, just like, not... You killing it. <laughs> you did nothing. What is going on? Asked out, asked out Dahlia. WTF. What was I thinking? And then you get a. Do either of you speak French? I probably am conversational, but that's it. Okay, you're getting like every third word, but it is turning into an anxiety written, uh, <laughs> long text. You know when you're getting like four texts in a row, and they're all they should all be one text, but fingers faster than brain sometimes. It's that in French. Wait, you asked her out. Uh, weeks ago when it was appropriate and she's now changing her mind? No. Ask her... No. It, no. Uh, yes. Ask her out for prom. Different different thing. Huh? It is fine. I, I am sure she sh will say yes. She just... You know, uh, we are not... We are not women. Um, th they, they sometimes need to think even though the answer is already on their mind. So they need to weigh everything. Stop stressing. She slammed the door in my face. She wasn't ready to look at you yet. Why would you want to look at me? I'm handsome. Yeah. If you're going to, like, ask a girl out, you got to text her that you're coming over to ask her out first so that she can get ready to pretend like she's not ready. Why would I do that? Listen, That's no so one... extra steps. Nobody knows why anyone does anything, but we have to. Is this an American thing? Just... Just step away from the door, walk down, walk, walk away for two seconds, go to a window, and then come back and smile. That's all you need to do. Why a window? I don't know <laughs> to get fresh air or something. I'm at the window. It's locked. Dahlia's going to poke her head out of her you, door now. Dahlia, you look outside and you see Spiro, one phone in one hand, wrestling with the hall window, which is sealed shut. <laughs> he has one foot on the wall. He is pushing as hard as he can. You can ah. see he is sweating and he is cursing <laughs> profusely under his breath in French. Hey, uh, Spiro? <laughs> Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, Bonjour. Hello. Hi. Hi. Um, could you try that one more time? I'm going to shut the door and you just go from the top, okay? I got it this time. Uh, okay. Okay. I just needed our rehearsal. She's going to shut the door again and there's still wait there. All right. Oh, hi, Spira. What brings you to my room today? Uh, Hello, Dahlia. He holds out a silk rose. Uh, I realize I never formally asked you out to... Uh, this is not his voice. Uh, <laughs> bonjour. I realize I never asked you out to uh, prom formally. Would you like to go with me? I would love to. She's going to grab the rose and, and do like a cute little smell of it. It and does. And then like a curtsy. It, it, he definitely <laughs> sprayed it with perfume, so it actually does have a scent. Good. Cool. If Sparrow looks at his phone, he'll get to see an F ton of eyes emotes. Just. <laughs> <laughs> I will, so I will uh, see you tonight. Yes. After inevitable fight with evil thing. I wouldn't have it any other way. Thank you. Um, how do you say? I know it's not Mademoiselle. What's the French for the other part? Monsieur. Monsieur. 
Thank you, Monsieur Spiro. He gives a little wave as he goes into the elevator and just deflates against the arm rail once the doors close, uh, checking his phone and seeing the plethora of eyes. Okay, you fucking called it. <laughs> and uh, Dahlia gets a text from Manny and goes, well, I have a date! <laughs> yeah, and then like it's like the little like um, like confetti uh, cannon oh, yeah. like, emojis. <laughs> Uh, with that, and then, I'm sorry, and then oh, Manny sorry, immediately, sorry. like, like as soon as they're done texting Dahlia, they then immediately text Lenny, going, "Do you have a date to prom?" <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> eyes, 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 eyes. And with that. The sun begins to set, and the stage is set for, well, the last move of a chess game. Before we get to that, though, we have some toast from our beautiful chat. Uh, if we could get the school administrator on the board. Boom, boom, boom. Hi, good evening, fellow... Oh, students of West Point Academy, it's prom time. Uh, so we got some announcements, though. Some school activities still going. Um, this one from uh, Five Foot Latina it says, uh, What's up, students? Prom DJ Ray Blanco is ready to spin the tunes to keep you hopping. Don't forget to vote for prom court. Your vote may be critical. Looking forward to some epic dance battles. Now I will remind you, uh, leave room for Jesus. This is, uh, you know, it's a, still a high school. You know, you got to no hanky-panky. You know, I, we were all kids once. Uh, this one's from Tony, who says, uh, who's ready for prom night? Dance off. Make sure to leave six inches between you and your partner uh, for... for for Hathor. I don't know what Hathor is, but yeah, same same difference. Thank you, Tony, for bringing that up. Uh, you know, you know, we we understand. Look, I've been I've been there, but you can't. You can't. All right, you get creative. You can figure out how, but don't do that. Don't do that. There's not enough teachers to go around to watch you at all times, and you have a friend be the lookout. But don't don't do that. <laughs> ah, five foot Latina says. Students, uh, you know you've been uh, occupied with prom. Please don't forget graduation. Juniors, see your academic advisor to finalize your senior year schedule. And seniors, don't miss graduation rehearsal, a.k.a. senior ditch day. Two Fridays from now, okay? Again, we've all been there. We've all been there. All right, that's all for announcements. Enjoy prom. <laughs> As the announcements come to a close, we do have one more uh, thing to address from B Right UK, who has drawn from the deck of heroes. Once again, chat, as this is heavily inspired by games such as Persona and uh, shows such as Judge Our Adventure, we do have a tarot deck here, and it will determine the good, the bad, and the ugly. So let's go ahead, do a three card spread, go ahead and cut the deck myself. Right UK has chosen the third card. All right. And we have drawn the star upright. Dahlia is represented by the star. So Dahlia has a crit that she can cash in whenever she like throughout the rest of this episode. Thank you, Be Right UK. Thank you. The sun has gone down. The dresses are on, the suits are out, the wilted corsages are on the wrist. Uh, the chaperones are making awkward small talk. Selfies are being taken. Uh, let's go ahead and have a little fashion show for our chat real quick. What's everyone wearing right now? Let's show it off. Do we want to go in order? Um, sure, let's go in order. I don't know what the order is. Let's start with Lenny. <laughs> Okay, well, I don't know about... So I am dressed like uh, Howard Car 
Cortell, the, the, the sports <laughs> announcer, for some reason. So uh, Chad actually said that. Yeah, it was a people, <laughs> like six people have mentioned it. I was like, hey, okay. It just it felt the black felt too formal. And this is the only one that wasn't charcoal gray. Uh, I think Lenny himself is dressed much better than me because uh, he has money and taste. Uh, he probably looks very much like, uh, I'm going to say he's he's got a very uh, tubs from the 1980s Miami Vice. Like he's got, he's got the, like the, the, the button up shirt that's like not, the partially unbuttoned, no tie, but with like the blazer and the matching. Like he looks good. Nice, nice. Uh, Manny. Uh, Manny is dressed much like uh, you see me uh, dressed. It's a kind of lacy, frilly sort of black button up uh, over which they have this really pretty red paisley and rose sort of thing happening with the velvet. Um, uh, oh, what are they called? Uh, I can't use English today. Not the blazer, the, these things, lapels. There they are. Uh, uh, but yeah, and then they have like, they're wearing black slacks with really nice black shoes, um, uh, a nice smoky eye. So they're kind of, they're kind of giving you gender bent realness all over the place, um, mixing it up. And um, it. yeah, I mean, I think they 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 don't like Manny doesn't really show up to prom because they're running it. So like they're there when everybody else arrives, and like I imagine that they're they're like they and Ben are just kind of sitting there waiting for people to show up. <laughs> just like they park themselves next to the punch bowl or whatever that kind of thing. So, all right, uh, Dahlia. Uh, Dahlia is wearing exactly what I'm wearing today. And you can't really see it when I'm sitting down, but it's a nice, really puffy sleeved black dress. Goes down to the knee, and she's got a little leather belt. Some strap the waist. Yeah. And last but certainly not least, Kwame. Uh, well, I am wearing a a, a dashiki. Uh, you can't really tell all the way, um, but it's uh, gray, silver, and gold. Um, it's very comfortable um, with a hat, but Kawame is wearing more. And I don't know if I can post links. It's basically yes, I can. Um, it's basically that. It is a um, a, a a a a blazer, um, a, but it's sleeveless, um, and it has different um, patterns in gold um, and 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 a little bit of purple in it. Um, and wearing a black turtleneck underneath that is very form fitting, showing off his muscles. Um, uh, nice slacks, some 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 slip on shoes that are uh, black with gold accoutrements on them. Wearing a necklace. Um, he's actually wearing a necklace with a big spider on it. Um, he's wearing a, a, a watch and a couple of rings on his fingers. Um, and he does have on the signature CB um, wide rimmed hat on. Um, Love it. Looking good. Looking Ears appears. Good. <sighs> yep. Well, <clears throat> Biro uh, picks you up, Dahlia. He is wearing this shaggy chic uh, suit. It looks like it's vintage, but the perfect like wear to it. It fits him perfectly. Uh, it's a lot, but it it works for him. I'm also a lot, so it's okay. Nanako is wearing a pink fluffy number. It, she kind of looks like a cupcake in the best possible way. And Kim is wearing a suit. And behind her is Nick wearing also a suit that does not look nearly as good as hers. Oh, uh, 1000%. Um, Lenny probably got dressed in him, I assume, but he, Kwame told Lenny and Nick and Sparrow to meet him at his place. Um, and he, he, he got all the finishing touches on all of them. <laughs> He's there like, like, I can't fix, I, I, can't, I am not a, I mean, I am a magician. I imagine Nick's suit, he might have come, come in like, like, uh, like a, a suit from like that he had. But like, the reason why his suit doesn't fit is because Lenny brought like three or four just to be like, I don't know which one. So like, whichever, like, I guess looks the best. Uh, and then, like Kwame's, like you're you're fine. And then he's like, I guess you can have one of these then. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. 
Yeah, no. Nick originally showed up and he was wearing the only suit he owned, which has only been worn for uh, two funerals. So it's not exactly festive wear. Oh. Yeah, no, we got to put some color on this man. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, Kwame, go ahead and give me a charisma roll. Let's see how well you do for uh, your these these poor boys. That's a twelve. That's a that's oh, a my... that, that's a max I can get on that. Kwame Kwame has saved the day. Nick still looks uncomfortable, but at least he looks good looking uncomfortable. Valid. He looks yes. the best he can. Precious bean. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Manny, as everyone begins showing up, Melpomino, uh, Mel Shidare Ake, I don't know how they got invited. I mean, I that thought they were from prom. Everybody, everybody received an invitation. Uh, we had to pull Shidare Ake and uh, Critical Bard and mostly Eric and uh, R.I.P. Mika aside and give them a stern talking to about their behavior. Uh, and told them that if they caused any ruckus, we reserve the right to kick them out. So hmm. hopefully they'll all be on their P's and Q's. I mean, you can hope all you want, but at the end of the day, if a brawl breaks out, it's got to be those four. Well, actually, in this case, it, it might not be them that is getting into the oh, brawl. Good point. And Sarah Cortez 07 are all some are some of the first students to arrive. And before you know it, Manny, the entire auditorium, uh, not auditorium, the entire building is full of students, music, dancing, liveliness. And those crowns that you have, they look like they're about to explode from the amount of energy they're emitting right now. Oh boy. Not quite time to pop off yet, y'all. No. Be cool. As the so the first 30 or so minutes of prom go by, nothing out of the ordinary happens. You get your pictures taken, you meet up with friends, you compliment dresses, you uh you know wonder is this a flower or is this poison ivy on my wrist? I don't know. This is making me miss prom. <laughs> Weirdly I, enough. No. Nope. Mm -mm, mm -mm, <laughs> no. I mean, prom was fine, but mm -mm. <laughs> that was a little closet case. I went with uh, Devin Clayton and lovely woman. I, I'm so sorry, Devin. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the only time I ever went, uh, I had the flu and I left after about 10 minutes because I felt awful. You shouldn't have got it all. <laughs> I went three times when I was the life of every single prom. You were that girl. I almost <laughs> oh junior junior when I went as a junior, it was like whatever. I was going because my best friend was there and she was graduating. Senior prom? Oh no, I went in. I had a white suit with yeah. purple. I was I was not playing. Got a hotel after and everything. The only reason I was able to go to my junior prom is because uh, a friend of mine took pity on the fact like I, I grew up super poor so i could not have afforded to go to a problem like my own merits i couldn't afford a dress or anything like that um and she she kind of pulled me under her wing she gave me a dress she she gave me a ride like she treated me to dinner like the whole nine yards so i got to go to my junior prom because i had a friend who was just sort of like oh, oh yeah. that's not how that's gonna be um and so yeah it was a lot of fun i love that i love that very I got my own little Cinderella uh, story out of junior prom. <laughs> no, that's too damn cute. That's too damn cute. Yeah. But the first 30 minutes or so are going fine. The crowns are acting weird, but they've been weird since you got the Manny. Everything else just seems kind of like you hope it would go. People are having a good time. And Kwame, I need an intelligence roll. I'm using my Eldritch dice from Wormwood. Ooh. Oh God! Um, oh no! No, no, that's actually fine. That's a nine. A nine, good. A nine we for me is fine. <laughs> we were looking for a seven, so that's perfect. Um. Every so often, out of the corner of your eye, 
you see the doors of oblivion. They appear and disappear as soon as you turn your head, but you do see them here. Okay. I'm going to have a drink in my hand and kind of like, it's kind of like a start waltzing. It's being silly. Um, when I can, I'll place a drink down somewhere and I'll just like kind of saddle up, up to Lenny. And I don't know what Lenny's doing at that moment, but I literally scoop him and start dancing with him. Um, and as I do, I say, don't take this as more than it is, though it could be if it wanted to be. You need to contact everyone now. Don't you give me a dexterity roll? Oh, God. Okay. How good is that dancing? That's what I want to know. Uh, two. Uh-oh. One. <laughs> I'm not used to being led. They're both leading. Neither of you, neither of you want to lead, and neither of you are doing that good of a job. You're both like really close to each other's faces in a way that I don't think either of you was really prepared for tonight. Um, now smooch. Actually, it's, it's, it's very horrible, yes. Nanako is standing next to you, Dahlia, and she's not looking away as she's like batting at your uh, forearm. It's, what? And I'm just like dancing with Spiro. And, what, Nanako? Oh, look, look. I'm gonna look over and see them. Oh. Um, regardless oh of how old it is, because <laughs> it's not good, because <laughs> I haven't revealed something about Kwame and it might get revealed later. Uh, oh. But um, that, that sounds a lot more than it should be. Um, Kwame's not a top. Um, but. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Whisper that. Good night, everybody. <laughs> Good night, everybody. We're done. We're going home. So, anyways, <laughs> you have an uneventful prom. Everyone goes home. <laughs> um, so, room, what we actually have room, on the floor is two first. bottoms dancing together. Okay, got it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, okay, I'll say he's not. Show. Neither of not them a, are leaving. Not a, not a full. Okay, not a full top is what I mean. Anywho, continue. Uh, y'all nasty. He's more like uh, he's more like a midriff. Exactly. Um. Um. <laughs> he's definitely regardless. Of, this is very awkward, and I understand that. However, contact everyone now mentally. There's a door of oblivion. It keeps popping up. And as I say that, I'll like spin off of him, and then just go off to hang out with the basketball group. Yeah. Okay. Right I'll now. get. Uh, I'll. I'll cool. What was that all about? <laughs> <laughs> and then I just like uh, telepathically ping everyone what I was told. Oh shit! Okay, um, I'll meet you all over by the punch bowl. Like, like Manny thinks that in Lenny's direction, and heads over to their punch bowl station. Manny, go ahead and give me an intelligence roll. But uh, but oh, okay. Wait, Lenny, I think Sparrow's going to kiss me soon. Can it wait? I got a five. Manny, for a brief moment, you think you see that man with the white beard, the large, imposing, strange figure you saw at the meeting uh, about a week and a half ago. But you can't be sure. They vanished into the crowd of students. This asshole. Okay. I mean, Dahlia, I... I the way these things normally go, like the two of you will kiss in the heat of of battle. Like it'll be like the most inappropriate, but somehow the most appropriate. The Caribbean. Yeah, it, that's how it's gotta be. Is Spiro in this group chat? Good. <laughs> that would have been so awkward. All right. The four of you gather by the punch bowl. Uh, it's lively. It's loud. You can barely hear each other, but. You are together. Manny takes a quick sip of the punch bowl just to make sure nobody spiked it since, since they stepped away. You did see Shidariake by here. Oh, no. Not, but not it is not now. spiked. It is not spiked. Yeah. It Len is seven up in fruit juice, so it's uh, bubbly. L Lenny drinks some, and he goes, oh, dang. <laughs> and then his, his cup just gets a little bit more full. You hear the booming laugh of Ninkasi. Oh, uh, right. So you, oh, you, you saw the doors 
the door of oblivion I, yeah i'm I not sure sorry no go ahead go ahead um i'm not sure why it keeps popping in and out each time i go to look it's gone and just it's shit's going down so just i wanted to make sure um we were I, all prepared for what could happen i wonder if it's keeping track of what if it's checking in to see if the the crowns have been given out yet like, do we think something's gonna happen before those get doled out? Um, you should see this, and like Manny kind of pulls up the the skirt of the um, tablecloth and kind of pulls the crowns from underneath the table, and is like, they look like they're about ready to pop. And I just saw the guy who I think was the white of the king in white wandering around as well. Behind the four of you appears a large, large white man. Uh, Manny. A white man? No. Oh, no. White man, please. <laughs> uh, I have constantly that gif. <laughs> white man. A, a white man no. broke into prom. Uh, he what did the police about... do about it? Nothing. Typical. Sounds right. Sounds about white. Um, he stands at about seven feet tall. Uh, he has the skin. The he has skin the same color of paper. His beard is a powdery flower white and his skin appears to be cracked and marbled um manny you recognize him immediately the rest of you can uh, put two and two together have you picked the pieces we are getting ready to crown people soon there is a procedure to prom you know you can't rush these things. And I don't know who they're going to pick. We left the vote up to the rest of the school. We should know soon, I think, probably in like a few minutes. But it doesn't really matter one way or the other. Because we're going to kick your butt. Yeah, yeah. it's not too late to like give up or whatever. That is not an option for me. I know it like Whoa. seems like that sometimes, but you know you have more options than you realize. Lenny, I want you to go ahead and give me a charisma roll. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> two, which is which is half half the size of the die. <laughs> Mechanically, he repeats, that is not an option for me. Well, then Choose your piece soon. Hold on to your horses. Then if it is not an option for you, then respectfully, get the fuck away from us and let us enjoy prom until it's time. That part. Yeah, maybe you could go take a spa day. Moisturize your face a little. It's, it's kind of ashy. Yeah. As you uh, say that, you see that his face cracks, not expression-wise, but literally down the center, and half of it just falls off. Ooh, I don't know. If what does it look like? It me. looks like broken marble. Like it, it looks like jagged rock underneath. Does this mean we already won if he's... Yeah, I don't know. Like, I think you could just glue that back on or something, like a nice epoxy or something. I don't know. I don't think it's over till it's over. Uh, uh, what's over when what's over? Ben asks, walking up, completely ignoring the large uh, stone man falling apart. Oh, hi, Ben. Hey. I think it's probably about time that we... we kick this prom court thing off. Yeah, no, no. I uh, just finished uh, arguing with Piotr about uh, recounts and stuff. Uh, I made a joke about how, how did he... you manage to get into a fight with Piotr? Oh, oh I made a joke about uh, Russian interference in an election, and then he started yelling at me, and then his boyfriend told him not to punch me, because if he did, he wasn't going to have any fun tonight. And then they started arguing, and I laughed, and that got both of them mad at me. Ben. Wait, a, a recount? Does that mean that the vote was that close? No, no, no. Ben I was, was being a jerk. Being a jerk. Okay. Yeah. <sighs> That's how me and Piotr are friends. Now, 
like I'm not a licensed therapist or whatever, but that does sound like you are lashing out because uh, you're afraid of the intimacy uh, that the two of you share. I've already told them that they should get therapy. Man, yeah, we've been like this since like elementary school. It's a dysfunctional relationship. Anyway, let's go. All right. All right. Okay. So here's the thing. I've been working on a little uh, voting system behind the scenes for a while now. Oh, God. Oh. Now. Fear. I know, right? None of us Dahlia. actually know how this is going to go full disclosure mm -hmm. audience. Dahlia, I want you to give me a charisma roll plus five. We got re-rolls, right? And we mm -hmm. have re-rolls. And we can get okay. more. Okay. Do I use my tombstone dice or do I use my bone dice? Uh -huh. Bone represents death. Tombstone represents the place of death. What do you what do you want to? Uh I'll have you know tombstone represents pizza. Uh Bye. Oh, no. I also why it up who made up most of that it, stuff. It goes with uh my secondary power that I picked for Dahlia. Ooh. And that is a nine plus five, so fourteen. Nice. Fourteen. Very good. Very good. Uh Kwame. I want you to give me a charisma roll plus three. Fear. I believe in That's an eleven. Plus three is fourteen. <gasps> Let's go, Kwame. All right. All right. Lenny, I want you to give me a charisma roll minus one. Oh no! no. Cool. On a D4? I'll roll my D4. We'll see how, and how that works. We do okay. This is rigged against Min the rich man. Minus one is two. All right. Now I am going to roll for the NPCs that have been nominated. Wait, they who nominated them? They were nominated yeah, cool. as soon as I announced who was running. <sighs> Dahlia was nominated later thanks to the actions of Manny. Yeah. <laughs> Stop. Okay. Stop. Also, thank you for the tips. Oh, thank, thank you all you. so much, by the way. Keep them coming so we can have a musical episode. Episode. Uh... All right. Sam takes the stage, and uh, you can hear the feedback from the mic as he as he grabs it. Hey, North Point, how's everyone doing tonight? Woohoo! Woo -hoo. From the crowd. Oh heck yeah! yeah. Announcing on my shoulders, just doing the spider dance. <laughs> Everybody do the spider dance. What is what is Anansi wear? Because Anansi is the only character we get, only uh, divinity we have who does costume changes. Yes, uh, Anansi is in a Anansi is in a a red, green, and black uh, suit ish um, around his body. Uh, each leg has a pant leg going down it, um, and he's wearing nice little shoes. Um, he's Are actually he he's wearing heels um, uh, on all eight legs, uh, and then he has um, 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 a really nice pair of like designer shades on his eyes, <laughs> on two of his eyes. The other ones are just like out and open. <laughs> mm hmm. Okay, the only ones that matter are the front ones. Those are Gucci. The rest are like, you know, Walmart brand, but they're fine. Spray <laughs> painted them. Exactly. <laughs> All right. So, we've tallied up the votes, and we have our prom court. Starting now, Manny, what did you name the prom court positions? Um,. If you don't have one, I can name them myself. But I, I want to know because this was kind of your pet throughout the season. Right. Um, well, I don't think that, like, I I mean, there's upperclassmen, mark uh, the, the upper-class monarchy and the lower-class monarchy, like, essentially. Um, they can be things like dukes and, you know, counts and, and things like that. But even those are gendered. So I don't think that there is any specific name for the prom court positions it's just that there's one upperclassman that'll get a crown and one lower classman that'll get a crown and then 
one of each will also get whatever it else it is that we made, like a scepter or a sash or whatever. Um, All right. We know it was a different voting than last year, and we hope you appreciated it. Uh, Emancipation Brown did so much work on this. Everyone give it up for Emancipation. Go, Manny! Yeah! I said give it up for them. Clap! Okay. Exactly. <laughs> Clap! <laughs> Why don't you give me a charisma roll? Let's see how that goes. <laughs> oh my God. Four. Can I also charisma roll in this? That was the sure. highest you I'm control. Not, Good job, I'm not lady. wasting a reroll. It was a one. <laughs> On a D12, it was a one. <laughs> I got a seven. I feel as though I can get people to clap for me on my own merits. <laughs> it's sweet that you guys are trying. You're all very sweet. I know I'm, I'm not like going over to popular. someone who's not clapping and I'm grabbing their hands and clapping for them. Come on. Come on. What are you, you doing? Stop. Our upper, our first upperclassman royal, Sandra Freeman. The captain of the cheer squad, this beautiful girl, she's wearing this golden dress. It makes her skin just pop, comes up, and she takes the sash. I hear a cat. Hi, Rumpel. He's Hi, Rumpel. Rumpel. Nope, he's in trouble. Bye, Rumpel. Bye, Rumpel. <laughs> Next up for our upperclassmen, our second upperclassman royalty. Kwame Atagonye! It's Atanimi! I can hear me! Atanimi? I thought it was Atagonye. I can hear me. I can hear me. I'm sorry. How dare you? I, I had the wrong note. It's okay. <laughs> There's someone else who's like. Kwame <laughs> <laughs> Atanimi! <laughs> well, shit! I knew that was going to happen. Uh, 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 the battle over there. there. Now, Kwame. You see the basketball team, and they're all cheering. Most of the sports teams are cheering. But some of the friends you had who you knew through, like, the literature clubs and Ooh. the poetry society, they're not as enthused. Ooh. Oh, that's valid. He notes that and guess it is for the better good for now. Mm. Um, And he will go up there and... Take the crown. He does not put as, it on yet, though. As he's when, going up there, Ellie's going to be like, safety squad! Safety squad! <laughs> safety squad. And then I turn to somebody. I'm like, safety squad. <laughs> <laughs> Monaco is also joining in on the chanting. It's uh, oh, a bunch of Lord, just... Lenny's a bully now. He goes to therapy, so he's a full bully. Uh, I can say, yes, Manny, we think... Manny is just kind of like... I can oh, say, yes, we Lord. think... We, we thank the safety squad for, for keeping this place safe. Though I am not part of the safety squad, I did chaperone the safety squad. Dolly's like turning to everyone around her. She's like, I'm in the safety squad with him. He's in the safety squad with us. Mm. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> oh, now, safety squad so is cute. prom court. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. uh, they announced the Dahlia. Now it's time for the underclassmen. I don't like that look. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They announced the first winner. Uh, you don't know him in particular. You've never really interacted with him. Nice guy. You think he, like, is on the bowling team or something? Whatever. Anansi sends, I mean, uh, Kawame sends Anansi over to Lenny's shoulder, and, and Anansi gets, like, pats his face, like, there, there. <laughs> You are trying, and that is what matters, but please stop trying immediately. I mean, I don't have, like, a strong <laughs> phobia of spiders, but, like, this is not comfortable for me. <laughs> Why? Is it because uh, Kwame was too close to your face earlier? No, it's... Did that spark something? Did that awaken something? No, it's because you're a full-on spider talking to me and caressing my face. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that hairy yeah. little leg. I yeah. may, I'm a spider in high heels and a suit. That should at least make this whimsical. Uh, no, I mean, it, it, I'll be honest, it doesn't. It's just terrifying. <laughs> Dahlia, you feel Spiro uh, grab your hand and he holds it tight. I don't like this, Steven. And our underclass, 
our second underclassman royal, Dahlia Windgrove. Yeah. Oh, well, thank you. And she's going to do like the little wave. She's shaking people's hands that she's never even met before. She's like, thank you for your vote. I really appreciate it. And they're like, I haven't voted for you. I, no, <laughs> no. You? And thank you. Oh, my gosh. This is such an honor. I she's voted go, for May. <laughs> she's going to go up and take Why them. Like, go here? I'm really, uh, oh, hey, I hey. would love to. I would love to thank my friends, Manny, who... Oh, you, you, you don't give a speech. Give me back the mic. Speech, speech, speech. Look, they want one. They want one. I have no, to give no. one now. Oh, my gosh. Say speech. For the people. For the people. Thank you so much. Manny, Manny helped me grow as a person this year. <laughs> and I just, I can't thank them enough. Ben <laughs> is facing <laughs> you around the stage. And she's just kind of like back. hurrying away from... Spiro, you have opened up my heart in ways that I can't... I'll talk to you later. puts a hand on Dahlia's <laughs> shoulder. You can give a speech later. Reminder why we are here. <laughs> if anyone would like to come take pictures with me, I'll be by the picture within a few minutes. Oh, I can't even talk. I'm breathless. Thank you so much. <laughs> uh, Manny just kind of sends a thought Lenny's way. He's like, we should stick close to the stage in case something happens the moment they put those crowns on. Yeah. I can't believe that Dahlia is like much better Rachel Berry. Rachel Berry ever was. <laughs> oh, 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 you're right. Oh, <laughs> like, let's be dead ass on that one. She's one thousand times better, Rachel Berry. I don't even watch Glee, and I know that's kind of an insult. <laughs> <That's a read. laughs> no, 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 that's a read. <laughs> 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 Oh, Lord. <laughs> she would be the Rachel Berry. Oh, yeah. man. Except she's not mean. She's got yeah. a good, kind, wonderful heart, and we love her. Exactly. <laughs> uh, and we don't have to have an episode every season devoted to her learning to love their nose again. I don't know what are you talking about? <laughs> Dahlia, you're handed the crown. And Kwame, both of you can feel... Something inside it wants out. It's like an animal in a cage. I look at Dahlia, and it's like that knowing. You ready? Let's Hold do on. this. Hold on to your butt, Lenny. <sighs> oh, he's going to pull out a crown. Oh, he got a prop. Yep. He got a prop. They haven't showed up. The minute the crowns touch your head, the world stops. Everything turns gray, except for the four of you. In front of you, in the center of the room, is the door to oblivion. In front, and in front of that door is the king in white, crumbling and growing in size. You have selected your pieces. We have. Then let us begin. And I need all of you to roll initiative. Be, 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 be. This is stressful, y'all. Speed and dex. This is stressful. Holy hell. I, I appreciate always your... your uh... I'm always willing to air horn it up. Thank you. Ugh. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. What does it mean if you crit on both die or during initiative? Uh, sadly, nothing. It just uh, means you get a really high uh, number. Ah, shoot. That's some tartar this sauce. Mm -hmm. Fix that overarms. <laughs> I could be wrong. I'll have to double check the rules, but I'm pretty sure it's just like. <laughs> Wait, I critted my dice too. <laughs> yeah, same. I also. Stop wasting your crits. I, I, I didn't crit on both, but I did crit on one. So I got a 10. On my initiative. All right, ten for Rocky. Fourteen uh, for me. Same. Four. I got a fourteen. No. <laughs> <laughs> Our speed and dex is the same. Yeah, oh. D ten, D four. Oh, no, mine is D eight, D six. Yeah, I'm D eight, D six. Oh wow. I am okay. a D six and a D ten. So as you all have the same number, you will all actually be doing the action at the same time. Let's talk over each other. 
Absolutely. Talk Cross it. talk. It's great. <laughs> People Cross love Venom Streams. talk all day. All right. Without missing eight, the king in white. I don't like that. This I mean, I guess gray, I'm glad got rhythm. So. This gray, silent void filled with these strange charcoal silhouettes of those you know and love. Um, you can no longer see him. And I need all of you to give me a strength roll. Ew! Kwame, do not add a bonus. Huh? That's rude! That's rude. Call that. That's rude! We're looking for a five. I got an eight. I got a six! I got an eight as well. That's the highest I can get as a six. <laughs> I, an eight is the highest I could get. I got a two. I could go higher than eight. I'm pretty Dahlia, strong. would you like to use a reroll? Yeah, I'm going to use a reroll. Okay, use the reroll. We have uh, four rerolls left. I got a, I got a two again. <laughs> no, I'm rolling on a D four. I'm not strong. <laughs> Dahlia, I'm to fail here. Okay. You feel the air knocked out of you. You're not moved or anything. You just feel the air removed from your lungs. Uh, you are winded five. Oh, cool. So if you roll under a five, it will lower your, uh, it will start lowering your dice. Oh, awesome. Yeah. The rest of you feel this, it's like removing a layer of dust from something or walking through a sandstorm, but you are able to resist it. Um, and that takes us to Dahlia, Lenny, and Kwame's turn. So all three of you will be acting in at the same time. Guys, I have an idea. Mm hmm Nah. Uh -huh. Persephone and I have been working on some stuff together. And I'd like to use my new power. Yes. Let's go ahead and introduce what everyone's second power is. Don. So I... I took on the ability of Umbra and Ictokinesis, which is the controlling of shadows and light, which is one of Persephone's um, abilities as the goddess of the underworld. Fucking love and it. I would like to um, bend the way light works around my friends so that they are then invisible to the naked eye. Um, light basically goes through them and doesn't hit them, which makes them in visible in a way. I love that. Uh, so for your second divinity power, it costs two AP to use. Okay. Just that's letting fine. you know that. So Dahlia, cool. go ahead as you decide to take the first action on this turn. Go ahead and give me uh, power and intelligence. Is it intelligence and range as a magician or is power well anything. you're not uh this doesn't sound like an attack this sounds like you're trying mm. to create a condition so yeah 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 okay uh does a nine hit for this I mean well you as know you are what creating I mean. condition yeah, yes yeah, yeah. so everyone now has the condition invisible nine meaning if I roll under a nine not only is it kind of a miss it's gonna screw him up somehow further all right who would like to take the second action Why, Lenny? I don't care. Sure. I'll Lenny, go. what's your second power? My second power comes straight from my goddess Ninkasi. I can sate the heart. I can just get like basically make people give people their desire or kind of make people like I guess they sate emotion it kind of like calm emotions or make people feel oh. better about themselves. Ooh. <sighs> That's I that's me. That. That's the emotion and manipulation right there. I love. Yeah. That's some dark shit. I'm here for it. Yeah. Go ahead and uh, now is this an offensive attack or are you trying to give a condition? Um. Yeah, I'm. I'm trying to drop this person's guard. I'm trying to make them like feel like they've already won and they don't have to put up defenses. Nice. Go ahead and give me an intelligence and defense roll. Okay, intelligence, defense. That's these two. 
boop, boop. Uh, uh, nine. All right. So you guys have Invisible Nine, and he now has Happy Nine. <laughs> All right, uh, according to that condition. I love that. I know. I love that. That's really cool. Um, Kawame takes a step forward, and I say, that's something I <clears throat> am not the biggest fan of, but um, have you ever seen the fourth season of the Digital Monster one when the people became the Digimon themselves versus having a friend. Um, hey, Anansi, come here. Um, and I, my second ability, as you see Anansi get on my head um, and, a, and a web starts to encase me as he begins to melt into that web. And I become a giant Black Widow as I can turn into Itty Spider. Oh, oh. I love it. I love it. I love it. Also, I love the Digimon Frontier reference. Thank you for that. It's actually my favorite Digimon. <laughs> um, so yeah, Tamers, I can tell, it goes Tamers I can, Frontier for me, but they're both great. Yeah, I just got I upset know. after two seasons. The third season was like, hey, the previous season is a story within this that's not real. And I'm like, that's not fair. Well, that was that was a translation error, I'll have you know, but we're not going to go into that unless we hit $125 in tips, in which case we will do video game hot takes. And Digimon's a video game, so it's okay for me to go on that rant. It's fine. Wow. <laughs> uh, All right, Kwame, yeah. uh, spend two AP as you activate your new uh, spider form. Uh, so I got to think this. Yeah, I got a lot more AP than I do. That's the worst part. I need more AP. Um, anywho, uh, yeah, okay. I have done that, and and the 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 power specifically is depending on the the, the spider I turn into. I can do different things. So with the Black Widow, I'm very fucking poisonous. <laughs> Love it. So yeah, I am I am rearing to get an attack. Okay, go ahead and give me an intelligence range minus two because this is just a straight up attack. Okay. Range or intelligence range? Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, uh, that is um, math. 15. It does not hit. <gasps> huh? It does not hit. Oh, Why'd you shit. add the not in there? Because it didn't. Oh, crazy. That's great yeah yeah you see i've like lunged at him and like i i, I hit nothing or I, like i bite and nothing happens and i guess jump off just... um okay that's very scary and also just because so so and so so i'm understanding the shape shift since i attacked is that another ap point i use or was that part of the initial shape shifting that i got that well we'll just put it all in one bubble for you okay cool Yes. Then any other attack will be an AP point. You got it. Thank you. Cool. Yes. Great. Manny, uh, you're up. Okay, so I am not going to yet bust out my second level move because um, I huh? need to manifest my sword first. Um, and you say that currently uh, the king in white has got like condition of happy. Uh, yes, he has the condition of happy nine. Okay, so uh, I think what um, M Manny is going to do first is uh, dig in the surroundings. Like, what does what does their environment look like? Um, is the king in white the only thing uh, currently here? Are there any other pieces on the board? Does it look like a board? Like, what what exactly is it that we're looking? When at? you look down, uh, you notice the floor of the cafeteria, auditorium, whatever you want to call it, is no longer there. It is the chessboard. Uh, you see that there are no pieces left on the board except for the king. Now, the king himself is currently very hard to see. The world is like a weird Photoshop version of itself. Everything is white with a charcoal drawing around it. Um, and you can move through these drawings without any problem. It's almost like he decided this will be your battlefield. Okay. Um, 
So Manny is going to start moving across the board to get closer to the king, uh, hopefully in, in an attempt to sort of like flank, flank him and kind of cut him off from any like a route of escape. Um, and you know, if they get a, a quick slice in while they're at it, then they'll they'll do that too. Great. Um, go ahead, spend an AP point and give me a guardian hit. That is strength plus power. I strong. I real strong. Um, I'm gonna use a reroll. Oh geez, come back here. Oh, that's much better. Uh, 17 plus two, 19. 19 hits. Cool. God oh. damn, Manny. Let's go. I rolled but there are guardian. Oh shit. Okay. Oh, shit. 16 minus 2 is 14 damage. Well, god dang. Minus 2? Why minus 2? <laughs> uh so I work opposite of magicians. Magicians it's uh, uh minus 2 plus 2. I'm plus 2 minus 2. The thing, okay. Oh, guardians cool. are less likely to hit, but uh no, guardians are more likely to hit, but they do less damage. Magicians are less likely to hit. But that makes more, more sense because you I know, like they that. use magic. All right, so how much damage did you do, Manny? 14. All right, let me go ahead and get his defense get rolled out. Ah, man. He, you sliced. It takes a moment for you to spot him. He's dissolved into this white mist, but you see his figure and you just slice through it and you make contact. It hurts like hell. And to the chat, we have unlocked five more rerolls for you guys. Hey, we appreciate you all. Thank you. Thank you all so much for that. And also, video game hot takes. We're gonna make this fast because uh, we. All right, everyone gets one hot take. Starting with uh, Eeny Meeny Miny Eric. Oh, I should have been thinking about this. Um, the. Video game industry is not sustainable because they they hire, make a bunch of things under crunch, and then fire everybody. It's uh, we should, as gamers, be demanding that our developers are treated better. Agreed. Should not be a hot take. Should just be a take. All right, Aki. Uh, video game hot take. Uh, there's no uh, unless you're being a jackass to other people. There's no wrong way to game. Um, Period. Everybody should just be able to play the things that make them happy, and that should have no bearing on whether or not they are a real gamer. Uh, and mm -hmm. that's not really a hot take. I, I think that's becoming a more popular like way of thinking in general, especially among like streamers. Um, and uh, there's a lot more blowback against people who don't think that way, which is good. Um, but in general, it's just sort of like, why, why should I like have to play certain games in order to be able to like, order to be considered like a real game? I should just be able to play the things that make me happy and, you know, also don't make me physically ill because I have motion sickness. So there are a lot of games that are not accessible to me. That's the other thing. That's my other hot take. Way too many video games are inaccessible to people who have motion sickness and that's a problem and it needs to be, it needs to be fixed. Respect. All right. Mika. Um, my first hot take is I think any kind of Souls game is just flawed. I, I don't, I don't, personally, I don't find games like that that don't have like a storyline and it's all just about failing until you win. Uh, and then my other hot take is, uh, attaching on to Aki's. There are way too many games that are, um, like inaccessible to many people because they don't allow you to set yourself to a lower difficulty and they hide parts of their storyline behind like skill checks and button mashing that some people cannot physically do because they have disabilities. And I think hiding storytelling that people that like world-class stories as well behind these things that disabled people can't access is extremely bad and needs to be fixed. All right. All right. CB. I have two and a half to work on in the same realm. One, Hate to say it, Final Fantasy X is better than Final Fantasy VII. Um, Thank you. <laughs> uh, and Thank with you. that being said, RN could beat the brakes off of Sephiroth. Um, 
said that with my whole chest. Uh, I kind of think Final Fantasy VII is overrated. It's only that love because it was a beloved game from our childhood, and we love nostalgia. Um, with that being said, my second, m- more so big take, a uh, hot take is I'm tired of video games. Uh, or video games should stop in their trailers using super uh, hip hop rap black music, and then no, don't have any black characters in the game. You use our music and our and our culture to to benefit from promotion and things of that nature, but don't actually allow us to see ourselves in your game. If you're going to do that, don't use our shit to begin with. Thank you. Fair enough. Fair enough. All right. I guess I have to give a hot take now. The Digimon RPGs that released on the Switch are better than Pokemon Sword and Shield. Well, Sword and Shield. Oops. I mean, like, Sword and Shield I is love, one of the weakest Pokemon games. But... And I love Sun and Moon so much, but I played Sword and Shield and was like, this is fine, I guess. Yeah. I wish my hot takes were more political and thought provoking, but you guys all said them, and honestly, I agree with all of you anyway. So, before we get back into combat, Dragon55 has has chosen to draw from the deck of heroes. And while you're doing that, I'm just going to spend like 25 minutes explaining to Mika the story of the Souls game and how they're really in depth. <laughs> I should not I have to say, take a drama mean to play a game. I, I will say the only Souls game I like isn't really a Souls game. I'm a big Monster Hunter fan now and I have to say like Monster Hunter's fine though. Yeah. Don't you Soul game I like a Soul Reaver. I'm specifically talking about Bloodborne and, and Dark Souls. All right. And our card is the Magician Upright. What does that mean? Now, none of you are represented by the Magician, but the Magician is the first step after the uh, Point of order. Three of us picked that as our class. That yeah. is true. <laughs> it's no, also the first daddy. step after the Fool. So here's what we're going to do with a straight-up Magician. Now, the last person to go was Aki. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And me. Aki. And name. Uh, you can choose, you can keep it or you can give it away, to take a second turn. Oh. Every time? One time. Oh. You don't have to use it now, but you got to use it before we wrap up for the season. Cool. Um, oh. Mm, all right. I'm going to be a little bit selfish and keep the second turn for myself, but I'm not going to use it now. That's completely fair. All right. It is now the White King's turn to go. Uh, He manifests in front of uh, Lenny, and he produces a large axe and just takes a swing. All right. right. Uh, He rolls a 13. And my initiative was 14. It is. It is. I'm going to use a re-roll. Ew. Your dick. Uh, and don't forget, Gross. if you roll under a nine, you don't see us at all. You're oh. taking one of our hard-earned re-rolls. He rolled a 17 for that one. Ow. Okay. Invisible nine doesn't play into that at uh, all. He rolled over a nine. <laughs> okay. No, Lenny, no. Oh, Lenny, let's go ahead and roll your defense. Three. 17 damage. Okay. That's a, that's a sizable chunk. The axe chunk. just comes in and smacks you. Thankfully, it's dulled, so you do not you are not bisected, but you are definitely not. I imagine, yeah, it comes down, and Lenny, the only thing that saves his life is uh, he goes somewhat liquid, but not quick enough. <laughs> Lenny, no! All right. Uh, next up, Dahlia Lenkwai. Uh, you three will be acting in unison. Before we go, are the other uh, divinified people in prom? Is They've all been here? I'm going to wow. need them to be unfrozen. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you have the ability to make that happen, possibly. You're correct, and I was considering, but I don't want to break the game for Steven. Um, um, anyhow, sorry. This dude I just I will, I will hit me for my full attempt, life total. Roll. So... Of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. Um, Bring us help. Uh, he hit me for my full life total. Well, the good news is, Lenny, uh, the chat has unlocked Hades Town. Uh, you get one get out of death free card. Yay! Ooh, Yay! Yes, yes. One. Yes. Don't Not waste it. 
that also means that we are 200 away from a musical episode. <sighs> Good grief. Please. Uh, you know what? I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. Okay. And I'll... Uh, um... <sighs> Yeah. What I'm going to do, yeah. I'm going to uh, see that Lenny gets hit. Um, and you see the red um, hourglass glasses underneath my belly just like pulse, um, like, like, like a, a brightness um, of that. It just glows for a second. You could tell that Kwame is not a happy spider right now. And they immediately rush at the king in white and just start surrounding them completely as silk starts to go around them. As I'm attempting to um, um, uh, um, encase, but also like lower their defense as best as I mean, lower their attacks as best as possible, restrain them. Um, okay. So they have to they have to uh, not you know take some take some numbers off of their attacks. We're gonna um, go ahead and make this an intelligent speed roll. Intelligence speed roll. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm gonna re. I'm gonna take a reroll. Okay. But one of those is an eight. The other one was a. That's a ten and an eight. That's actually the max I can do on both. Nice. That's an eighteen. That's uh, a critical you're... too, isn't it? Is it Are a critical? Crit? Yeah, it's a critical. I, mean, I can. Yeah. Wait, it's a ten and an eight. Yeah, that's all I can do. If you got crits on both your dice, isn't that, or is it just sixes? Is it a good thing? No, no, no. Crits are double sixes or or max on both die. Yeah, I got max on both die. That's a crit. The the first was not a max. First was a two, and now it's a (laughs) ten. Well, I can't argue with that. So how do we? I don't know how crits work. So you uh, basically it doubles it doubles your pleasure, double your fun, double make gum. You are going to give him. Cocooned 18. Dang. Uh, he has to roll above an 18 to get out of that, yeah? Yep. <laughs> okay. And if he rolls uh, under an 18, very likely uh, he will have to lower a die. Good. Cool. Oh, and man, then uh, no the last idea. thing the last thing I do is just um, you see um, in, in Lenny's head, he's just here. I'm sorry. Um, as Lenny, uh, as Kwame, like stands over Lenny and just like guards, um, just to make sure he doesn't get hit again. Hmm. All right, uh, but there, there is a big ass spider over Lenny now. <laughs> it's kind of a little scary, but I'm like, sorry. All right, uh, Dal- Dahlia, Lenny, who would like to take the next action? I'll go. <laughs> uh, yeah, Lenny is. I assume, like on on his ass, uh, from taking an axe to the chest, uh, as one might be. Uh, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna try, and I'm gonna kind of. Lenny's gonna turn into liquid to try and get himself away, uh, get some distance, and then fire uh, a water beam at this thing. He's gonna cast water beam. Okay, uh, that's just, beginning. <laughs> that is just going to be a normal magician hit. Mm-hmm. So that is uh, intelligence, intelligence and range. Yep. Minus two. Ooh. Ooh. Mm, I'm going to try one of these rerolls. Everyone else okay. is having How fun. How many rerolls do we have left, by the way? <laughs> you have six rerolls remaining, thanks to the oh, chat. Oh, we're good. We're good. I hope. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's not going to that's not gonna be anywhere close. That's eight total. Yeah, you fire off, and it is... He does not have a tangible form. He is just kind of rocks that have been destroyed and come back together as they see fit. You oh. fire off and it splashes one of these phantom students. Uh, all right, Dahlia. The spider uh, has moved over Lenny. Lenny moved out from under the spider, shot a beam of water. What are you going to do? It is, uh, the king is cocooned, yes? Yes, as best as he can be. I like to create a sea of shadows um, that surround him um, and that are basically like a combination of shadows and also like rosebush thorns where moving through them will put damage on you of of any kind. Um, And that's 
what was this the, is going to be conditioned so go ahead and give me defense and intelligence okay a d10 and a d8 okay please don't fail me right now uh 18 god damn is that a crit uh yeah yeah that's an that's a crit <laughs> are you sure are, are you are you a D10 and a D8 and a, yeah. Well, shit. Okay, he's rosed 18. <sighs> With he's cocooned sure 18 and happy nine. So uh not a great time. time. Invisible nine. Yes. Wow. He picked yeah. the wrong people. Really? All right. Aki. It's Manny's turn. So there is now water on the floor close to where the king is, thanks to Lenny's water. Yes. So this is where I'm going to bust out my second Ooh. move. Uh, you see as the wings kind of burst from Manny's uh, shoulder blades and they their, their eyes flash and it almost seems as if they don't realize they're doing this, but their hand stretches out over the water and droplets of it, of it rise from the floor and they also pulse at this weird golden light and then fly into the mist where the king is and all of the oxygen around the king suddenly starts to get sucked away. Because mm -hmm. one of Ma'at's powers is that they gave the, the gods the ability to breathe. Oh. oh. Okay. I took, I, could, I brought Aki, you into this world and I could take you out. Okay. Holy Work. shit. I thought Don't you were about to fly. Me. I was yeah. wrong. <laughs> I was I like, mean, yes. Yeah. You're like that Henry that's, Rollins that's airbender that, guy. That's level three. Oh. But yeah, three. if they yeah, she created a special potion that essentially gave gods the ability to breathe. And took her potion does away. her her potion does other stuff too. Now my favorite I thing am... about this is that Steven didn't ask any of us what our second powers were, so he's no, just I wanted to be surprised. <laughs> I want to be surprised just like the rest so of the So I'm gonna spend chat. the two the two AP points and then what is my role for that? Well I'm, I wanted to ask you, is this an attack or are you trying to create another condition? Oh, uh, I wanna kill this bitch. Ooh. I mean I'm be... sucking the breath out of his lungs. I feel like that's an attack to me. Give me a guardian attack. Cool. <laughs> kill this right. king like the queen of Bossing Tay. There's no war in Bossing Say. Uh -huh, that's what you think. All right, here we go. We. Um. Have we knocked down his initiative level yet? I don't no. think we have. Cool. Um. That's not gonna do it. We got reroll. Re I'm gonna use a reroll. Okay. Here we go. You have five remaining. Ah, that was even worse, so no. That doesn't work. All right. Uh, Manny, you attempt to use your new power and suck out the oxygen, but then you remember, rocks don't need to breathe. Um, would you like to use your second move, or...? Sure. I think okay. I'll go ahead and do a slice slice. All right, go ahead and do a slice slice. Classic geology. Rocks don't breathe. Um, First thing they teach you. Uh, that's a 13. Uh, 13, that is not going to hit. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, cool. So that's All right. It is now uh, the King of White's turn. He is angry and... No, he's not. He's happy. He's conflicted. He's confused. He has <laughs> a lot of feelings. And the door of oblivion Welcome appears... Welcome to being a teenager. Yeah, pretty much. The doors of oblivion appear and open... Mm -mm. All of you see those eyes again. Completely indifferent to your existence, completely indifferent to pain, to joy, to everything. These are eyes of nothing. Uh, he reaches for it and cannot uh, approach it. Infuriated, he lashes out at Kwame. We gotta oh, talk to you about your anger management issues, Mr. Oh. King and White. Yeah. Oh, he got a 13. Um, so that will knock down several of his dice. D10, D10. Uh, oh, that will remain a D12. Like a D12. Like a D12. 
Uh, however, that does lower his initiative to 15. Like a D12. Rolled for the very first time. Okay. All right. Uh, he had, wait, he had a higher initiative than us? Yeah. Yeah, that's why he went he's first. Been going, he's been going first this entire time. I have not realized he went first. I guess that's correct. Sorry. He went first yeah. and was incredibly hard to hit. Oh, yeah, true. He's still hard to hit, but less so. Uh, okay, Dahlia, okay. Lenny, Kwame, who would like to act first? You all share initiative. Get this asshole! The eyes are looking at us, right? The eyes feel like they're looking at everything and nothing at the same time. I suggest not looking directly at them. I want to throw up a wall of shadows in front of the door so that the eyes have no line of sight on us. Mm. Okay, go ahead and give me intelligence defense. Okay. Intelligence defense. Let's get a crit again, guys. Uh, six and a one, seven. Seven. Okay. Uh, you have created a very weak shadow barrier between okay, you and... Okay, you don't have to use weak. <laughs> <laughs> a very wimpy and weeny shadow barrier. Thin. Thin would work. Yeah. transparent Skinny. Opaque. <laughs> Skinny legend. Uh, okay, yeah. Uh, you've created shadow bar a shadow barrier of three. Cool. All right. Uh, Kwame and Lenny, who would like to go? You mean Lenny? I, I, I said will... Kwame and Lenny. I say, sorry, it sounded like you said Manny there for a second. Have I lost my ability uh, to reroll? It was, it was the May and the Lenny, like May and Lenny, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, That's her ship name. Oh. <laughs> Many? Quinny. Qu Quinny. And Quinny is, Quinny is the name. Um, yeah, Kawame is going to try. Kawame is going to see that they are struggling within themselves to make this chance to, to make this easier for us, um, hopefully. Um, and we'll um, stay next to him, but their webs shoot out. Um, to like different parts of this room um, and begin to start making doors um, um, as I attempt to open the door from this world to ours to see if some of our friends can get in and help. Okay, that's going to be a very high roll, but I've I know, I know, it's right. It's all we did in the finale. Uh, intelligence in what? Uh, this is going to be intelligence power. It makes sense. Uh, Reroll on one for damn sure. Okay, um, you have three left. We only have three left? Yeah, you guys have been burning through them. And I we used have. one. <laughs> we have, that is true. But 17? So 10 and a 7. Okay. We it hits because it's out of 15. Uh... He wasn't trying to hit our uh, good, no, good. I was, I'm doing white. something else. You yeah. were trying to open a doorway through the universe using your uh, world-altering powers. Okay, Kwame, how do you word this? Um, I, I, I would as I'm as I'm spinning this web. I would say, uh, in my head, I guess, because I'm a big ass spider. Um, if anybody speaks arachnid, um, I would say, let me spin you a story in which the door is actually ajar. And this world is not what it seems. Um, and, and I guess start to speak, and I'm, I'm just, guy, with Anansi, as we are fusing to one, I'm, just, I'm hoping that someone can get through and, and, and help in this final moment. Um, that, that's, that's what I say. Um, I'm giving it what I got. And if I failed, I failed. Mm. All right. Um, suddenly, from your door, a jar appears. A giant human-sized jar. And inside is Kim. Wearing her suit, looking around. What the hell? We needed help. Get in here. Yeah, I can't. I'm in a jar. Punch Get out of it. Get out of the jar and punch the cloud. What the hell were you guys doing? I mean, I feel like that's really obvious. 
All right. I rolled for Kim. I actually rolled to see who you would bring in. Uh, if you had gotten a one, it would have been Nanako. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we would have killed Nanako. <laughs> Nanako. Ugh, being Nanako is suffering. All right. Uh, <laughs> so Kim now has an initiative. She will be helping you. She will have to escape the jar on her turn, though. Okay. Uh, Lenny, you're up. I would like to like step back and go water punch and like jump off a wall and just try and sock this thing. Using, Give me a magician hit. Just using the power of water. Let's see. Intelligence right. range minus two. Intelligence range, which is this one, minus two. Boop. Uh, so that is that is double sixes. Damn. That's what we like to see. All right, auto yeah. crit. Go ahead and roll your damage. Oh. Miki, you didn't forget that you have an auto crit. No, yeah, yeah right. I have a roll double right. six. Oh wait, wait, sure. wait! I have my. No, own. You have an auto crit from from your card. That's true. That's true. Don't forget. Don't forget. Uh, mm -hmm. so so that's sixteen plus two, eighteen. So thirty six damage. As as I just like, just charge up and just ah, uh, it's this, it's just full, it's just just full on ah. Uh, and then, like, he goes through the mist, and you see, like, whatever this form is, like, just coalesce enough to, like, as he, like, comes through the other side. Lenny, that you did more than half of this thing's HP in one hit. That's Good. a strong command. He's Punch the cloud. He's angry. Aki, it's now Manny's turn. All right. I want to try and use my ability one more time and if i if i biff it this time then that's it but we're gonna try one more time to one more time suck the the life out of this Wait. and effort oh, yeah. oh, <laughs> hey shit i hear i believe in myself i believe myself oh here we go Ooh. no would you like to use a reball is it okay if I use a reroll? Use a reroll. Do it. Do it. Would you like to use a reroll? Okay, that's better. That's better. That's much, much better. Okay, that's uh, I think that's exactly what I need. That yeah, that's a fifteen. Eight plus five 15. is thirteen. Plus two is fifteen. That's a hit. Cool. All right. Let's see how much life force will suck out of the scar. Wait, that no go. Get back on it. Uh, that was four. Four got a hit. So that's six damage. Six damage. Let me go ahead and six damage. You sap the oxygen from this creature, and it does not seem phased. I'm sorry. I rolled. It rolled very well in this defense. How dare! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's supposed to be tough. Uh, all right, now it is Kim's turn. Uh, infuriated, mostly because she was, you know, possibly going to make out with May, and she's very upset about that. Uh, oh, that's definitely going to do it. Breaks, uses her power, and the Morrigan breaks out of the jar you created, Kwame. Okay, since when are you a spider, by the way? Long story. We'll come back to that. All right, that was her action. I just um, love that she is angry about the thing that we all knew was going to happen at prom. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Why'd you summon me, ma'am? <laughs> hey, hey, you all vanished. She was like, "Oh, cool. I guess I get out. I guess I get to get out of work free card." <laughs> nope, bringing you in. <laughs> all right, it's going after you, Manny. Why? Leave me alone. While they're rolling, thank you, thank you all so, so much for all these tips. Yes, thank you thank all you, so much, you, by the way. I, I believe we are now 55 away from musical. <gasps> no way! Are we really that close? Oh my goodness. Yes. Oh, I no. believe so. Oh. Uh, ah. It's a little more than 55, but we are very close. Uh -huh. I'm excited. I'm spending a reroll. 
That scares me a little bit. I stop he, using our rerolls. Well, I they're mine too. I just never use them because <laughs> I'm usually so damn nice. Uh, it doesn't matter if I'm nice or not. Apparently, I just suck at rolling dice. So Manny, you see this large stone piece that turns into a bishop. It goes flying at your head, but it goes wide and just crashes into a wall. Ugh. What are you going to do about it? I don't know, but this pawn is about to get kinged. Do, 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 do. Well, Dahlia, Lenny, and Kwame, it is now your shared turn. Who would like to go first? Uh, I would like to... He has mist surrounding him right now, kind of like cloaking him, yeah? He more, more like he is mist. Uh, right now, he's currently covered in rose vines and a silk cocoon. And he does not look happy. I would like to call upon uh, light and not blind us, but make it come from every angle around him and blind him no matter where he looks. It's like he's looking directly into the sun. Okay. Are you Spotlights. trying? All right. Uh, now, is this an attack or another condition? This is going to be a condition. All right, then. Go ahead. Intelligence power. I'm going to credit. You don't know that. I'm gonna crit. No, she's using her. No, auto I'm crit. using my crit. Oh from, shit! From, yeah. From the okay. Intelligent. You said <laughs> you. Meanwhile, yeah, meanwhile do. I'm over here like. You don't know that. You yeah, said intelligence. Like, you just declare these things. Intelligence. What? You can. Uh, it doesn't matter. You use the crit. You don't have to roll. Cool. So, uh, what is the max on? Uh, it been a uh, intelligence and power die. So, what's the max on both? Fourteen. Of those? All right, he is blinded 14. Cool. All right, Lenny and Kwame. Uh, I I will I will uh, begin to drip venom from my fangs as I attempt to bite uh, the king um, in 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 in, in off white. The king and off white. Uh, all right, go ahead and give me a. Uh, this sounds just like a magician roll. Intelligence power. Uh, no, intelligence. So range. This range. Minus two. I will learn all of these things eventually. Well, you could buy a <laughs> copy from Ricky Jet Studios, available on Try Through RPG. That is a twenty-one. Hot damn! Okay, roll that beautiful bean footage. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It lies. Nineteen. Uh, did not minus two. Still good. Go ahead and roll that damage. That is plus two. 18. Woo! Okay. Um, he, for the first time in this combat, the king in white takes on a tangible form. He now is humanoid again. Uh, the Morrigan appears behind Kim and looks shocked and odd all of you remembering that's probably the doctor in there uh he is barely standing he is barely alive he is barely breathing aki it is now manny's turn all right slice 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 slicey slice Hi. um oh wait uh, Lenny didn't get to go. Oh, shoot. I am sorry, Lenny. It is your I'll turn. Go after, I'll sorry. go after Aki. It's fine. No, no, no. You go. You go. You go. You okay. Go. I'm just going to... I'm going to water punch it again. Uh, I'm gonna punch it. Minus two. Uh, that's just an 11. So it's not going to be quite enough. That is not going to hit. Would you like to use the last reroll? No. I'll let somebody else do it. I did I, I did 32 damage or something last time. I thought You did. Fine. You did. Oh. All right. Sorry. Aki, it is your turn. You are doing a slicey slice, if I recall. Yep, here we go. Oh. Uh, it's only... Yeah, it's only a 12. You do not hit. Um, you slice at him, and he is wounded. It is... It's strange, because through the broken rock, you start seeing not flesh, but but sort of that same ethereal material that Ma'at or Anamsi or Persephone is made out of. Mm. Uh, 
It's Kim's turn. Kim appears behind the... Take your meds. Take your meds. Uh, Kim appears behind the king in white. Uh, Her wings large and black in stark contrast to yours, Manny. Uh, And she shoots a feather. Let's see if it hits. It does not. Uh... Her feathers go. She, she can use our last reroll. She deserves to destroy the person who is her divinity's yeah. husband thing. Yeah. Kill your husband. She rolled no! worse. She Never rolled mind. worse. <laughs> uh, she rolls and she, a thought that she shoots her feathers, and you can all see the golden eyes of the Morrigan crying uh, black harsh tears. Uh, it is top of the order. It is now his turn and he is going to do something very drastic. I need all of you to roll me uh, intelligence defense. No. Oh, How shit. dare you? <laughs> oh, shit. oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Hey, this is the finale. I get it. Go big. Go six flags. Hmm. How's everyone's health doing? Should we... Lenny's in? bad right now. Yeah, should, he... we, should we cash in our full party heal? Smoke him if you got him. I would because I, I would. Yes, yes. he did I would. one. He did yeah. one hit on me. Let's and cash it... in our full party hill just so Lenny yeah. doesn't die. You know. Okay, <laughs> Lenny is back up to full HP and AP. Perfect. All right, cool. I only rolled a seven. I rolled a five, right. six, nine. Okay. Did we, um, did we roll five, six, seven, eight, nine? You did. No eight, but yeah. <laughs> well, we should get like a full house perk for that, you know. Uh, sadly, this is not Cthulhu Tech. <laughs> All right, <laughs> there's a there's a nerdy game if you want to look it up. So, you all take twenty two damage. No, I refuse. Excuse me, that is out. Question. Yes. Um, so two people just died there, and we only want to get out of free jail card. But question, I will leave it up to you. When I transform into spiders like a wild shape in another TTRPG, <laughs> do they have their own health, or do they use mine? <laughs> they use yours. Okay, um, I'm out. <laughs> um, You're not dead. You won't zero it for... <laughs> Um. Uh huh. Oh so, boy. Okay. What's everyone sitting at now? I mean, we got two people at negative two. Yeah, negative two. And we got two people. Oh, yeah, at negative, two. Negative, negative. You are at zero. Zero. So and then two of us are at two. Can we say we didn't Dahlia use our heal yet? Two. Because <laughs> we could say we're at two two. Yeah, we're we're ballerinas over here. Yeah, you, you saw uh, Kwame. Uh, split from Anansi, and they both were just, like, splayed out on the floor. Yes. Uh, it, so I assume Manny and Lenny are still standing? Manny and Dahlia. No. Manny and Dahlia. Okay. Uh, Manny and Dahlia, the boys are out cold. Um, we are going to start, actually, with Lenny. I need you to roll me a d20. Okay. Uh-oh. Oh, God. We've hit saving throws. 13. You are okay. Your you have one hit point. Oh my God. Heart is beating and you have one hit point. <gasps> this you... is the first time we've ever had to roll a D20s during this game. Yes. Yes. D20s are not your friends in overarms. I don't like that. Kwame, I need you to roll a D20. <laughs> <laughs> That's a three. Would you like to use the last reroll? Yes. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh-uh. That's a uh-uh. five. Uh-uh. Would you like to use the get out of death free card? Yes. Okay. You have one hit point and you are alive. Bye. Huh. Dahlia, it's your yeah. turn. <laughs> Great. Um So if I wanted to envelop all my friends in darkness as a healing kind of thing, like healing them through the darkness, because that is part of Umber Kinesis, would I be able to do that? 
And how much could I heal them? I would say that is possible because yes. I have let you guys use your abilities for out there things before. Um, I don't know how much you will be able to heal, but I will allow you to attempt. So the difficulty is going to be 12. Okay. And is that using and this range? Will be, uh, like my magician. Intelligence power. Intelligence power. Yes. And I have to hit what? 12. Thanks for the raid. Everything is fine. Thanks for the great. raid, everyone. Everything's great. Everything and is we fine. Don't We're at the end of rerolls. combat. It's we bad. Don't, we don't have rerolls. Okay. We do not um, have rerolls. I'm going to attempt it. <laughs> okay. Come on. Someone blow on the dice for me. Not <sighs> you. Not you. What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What? Steven, if this goes bad, it's because you blow on the dice. Okay. There. I All right. Blue. Um, uh, an eight and a five, which is a 13. Yes. <gasps> Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Roll me a D eight. All right. All right. Oh, I was one away from uh, <laughs> a four. Okay. Uh, Kwame and Lenny both heal for four. Me? What about me? Does it also go? Oh, were you doing it for Manny as well? I was doing it for our party. Yeah. Okay. Then everyone heals for four. All right. All right, <laughs> Aki, you're up. Go yep. through that round of combat. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try and do another hit. I'm gonna try to take this guy out. Oh man, I'm so nervous. Ugh. Oh, this sucks. Okay, I rolled a set. I rolled a 19. To <gasps> hit. <laughs> okay, here yeah. we go. Oh no, no, dice flying everywhere. Okay. <laughs> Stress. Excitement. Stress. Stress. Uh, not as red on the damage. Only seven damage. Manny, how do you kill him? Ah! <laughs> he has four health left, and I rolled a one on his defense die. Let's so go. Manny stands up, and they're kind of dragging the tip of the sword behind them as they stand, and they kind of push the blood away from their mouth and like their shoulders are heaving, you know, like they would in an anime and they kind of, uh, get glare at this, at this King and go, you really should just leave anyone other than men to rule. And they rush forward, drag the tip of the sword off of the floor and then swipe the King's head off with the sword. You watch as the, rock-like form of the king in white dissolves. Manny, lying there in front of you is, it resembles almost like a cartoon genie. It's joyful, it's bleeding, and it's dying. Um, and it looks up at you with a large, almost goofy smile and says, Thank you. And that dissolves too. Soon, everything around you dissolves. The four of you with Kim Winters stand in the middle of your prom. No one's the wiser about anything that just happened. Everyone is chatting, having a good time. And then everyone stops in confusion. Hey, who brought the stupid door prop? Sitting in the middle of the room is the doors to oblivion. Uh, nope. And they are not ethereal. They are not phantasmal. They are physically there. And the door cracks open. <gasps> and that is where we are calling season two of New no! Pantheon Academy. No! to do for prom still oh, oh, oh like my goodness get my first kiss yeah we're dolly needs to get their kisses <laughs> thank you eric where are yes. the oh, someone has priorities we, where are smooches. the smooches? i'm sorry i'm sorry thank you all so much for joining us and thanks to the chat we have unlocked the chat game i wanted to play and we will be starting season three Season three of New Pantheon Academia by playing a game of real or fake anime. 
But more importantly, we also unlocked the musical episode. What? Yeah. Did we? Oh, I we, we surpassed no, we, it. We, we, we went surpassed. over it. My goodness. Thank you all so much. Yes, yes. We started a, a donation train in chat, and we hit it. <laughs> you are all wonderful, great, talented, beautiful people. Sing. Oh, my goodness. I. Well, okay. Season three, we are going to have a space mecha episode. We are going to have a musical episode. And we're going to play a game of real or fake anime, which I'll be posting the rules for in our Discord. Make sure to check that out. Now, uh, thank you all so much for tuning in. Thank you all so much for your support. It means so much to us. It keeps the show going. It keeps the channel alive. And this would not be possible without you. So thank you. Thank you so much. Um, Question: Are we starting season three at the end of prom? You'll see. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I was only asking because I feel like we need an epilogue. <laughs> I feel like we just like stop. It's like no, we need to we need to end. We need we need something. Okay, I'm shutting up. My name's Stephen Pope. You can find me online at uh, the Professional Hobbit. Uh, I know my brand. I know what I am, and I'm I'm okay with that. You can also check out my writing, uh, Lost in Tottlements, Volume Two, released yesterday. Check it out now on Drive Through RPG. Uh, it's beautiful. It's political. It's uh, very oh, anti-capitalism. All art is political. This one's uh, ornery about capitalism. That's fun. That's a fun to bring into your games, and that's what this get. That's what this allows. Uh, you can also check me on TikTok. Uh, hit me up over there. You can see me rant about vampires and all sorts of silly shit. Uh, mostly Eric, where can they find you? Well, they can find me all over the internet and mostly Eric. Where is on Twitter and on Twitch where I stream video games. Yeah, love it. Uh, Shidari Ake, where can they find you? Uh, well, you can find me on Twitter at Mixed Genie in a Bottle. That's M X G I N I I N A B O T T L E and my entire Twitch schedule can be found on my personal Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Yudari Aki, and that is S H I B A R E A K I. And um, look forward to some uh, announcements about certain things hopefully coming back. Well, not hopefully coming back, that will be coming back very, very soon. Um, things are getting tamped down for season two of All Games No Masters. So, Ooh. uh, Get excited because more GM -less ridiculousness is coming your way soon. I love it. RIP Mika, where can they find you? Hi, you can find me at RIP Mika on any social media site. I stream five days a week on my Twitch channel, Monday to Friday. And uh, both my shows are on like a little bit of a hiatus, a little bit of a break now with this wrapping up. So I just stream, that's all. All right. <laughs> She stays wonderfully, and we adore her. I'll be ra uh, raising money for St. Jude this week on my stream. So there's I that. I love that. I love that. Uh, Critical Bard, where can they find you? Hi, right, yeah, my name is Omega Jones, also known as the Critical Bard. Critical Bard across all social media channels. You can find me everywhere at Critical Bard, where I do too much. Um, I stream a lot. Um, I do lots of things that I can't announce yet because of NDAs. Um, specifically, I want to shout out that every Monday I am now part of the Realm Smith cast for Curse of Strahd in a more, well, well, watch tomorrow. How about that? Watch the show tomorrow at 6 p.m. Um, yeah, Central, 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific, um, for many fun things over on, uh, twitch.tv slash realmsmith and on youtube.com slash realmsmith. Uh, Sundays, uh, Sunday, Saturdays, every, uh, Saturday on my channel is Let's Get Wild Mount with... Aki, we took a break this week, but we'll be back next week. Uh, and uh, that's it. This is now over for the season. Sad rip. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I stream a lot. Check me out on Twitch. That's, that's that. I love it. Uh, now, before we go, we do have some toast from our school administrator that we definitely need Ooh. to address. Oh, boy. I hope everyone's having a good prom and, uh, you know, really doing the we discuss uh we got a few more announcements uh this from uh i apologize because i'm gonna butcher everything in this message from uh mel pomino says uh, uh this message comes from the welsh language club putting our support for kwame for prom king kwame dus and 
little bit de delicious. So uh, half of those were made up by me. I don't know which, but uh, it's up for it. That's join the club. You learn uh, all the things I said. Uh, we got another one from your hero who says, "I really want that musical episode carrier pigeon." So. You know, uh, look out for penguin. The uh, penguin. Bam, bam, it's carrier penguin. Thank you. Listen, do I come to where you work and slap the falafel out of your mouth? No. <laughs> you, but you did. You have. Well, that's because I. That's because it was like get, it was mine. Get a room. It was mine. Get a room. I will, we will hey, not. Hey, you stay out of this. You stay out of this. Okay. Can I, I do my announcements? Life. Can I do you my announcements, Terry? Can I do my announcements, Terry? Can I do my announcements? All right, that's the end for the announcements. Good night, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we found out uh, more about the school administrator. Apparently, they have a rival slash friend in Terry. Uh, and we do have an, one more announcement before we call it a night. Uh, we have been, we're giving away a copy of Cortex Prime. Uh, and we have a winner, thanks to our chat. It's Mel Pomino. I hope Ooh. I'm saying your name. We all know bad about that. The great sausage under heaven will tell you so. Uh, but yes, I hope you enjoy your copy of Cortex Prime. It's a great system. Thank you all. And again, thank you all so much for tuning in. We will see you soon for season three. Until then, Saving Throw has amazing stuff coming in the works. And check us out everywhere. Until then, bye. Bye, y'all. Mwah. <laughs>